Hi, I'm Deborah. Today I want to show you one of our top selling foundations. It's part of the A New range of skincare products, which is the anti-aging collection that Avon have. Now it's it's considered to be a luxurious liquid foundation. If you look at the reviews online on the website, you'll see no end of customers raving about this particular foundation, which is to say includes ingredients to really help with the anti-aging process. And um, it really is fantastic. So I'm going to show you what it's like. Okay, so it comes with a little pump. Um, and there's a few ways in which you can apply it. You can obviously put it onto your wrist. I know some people like to use that first and then apply it onto the face. Or you can apply it, say, straight onto a brush or a sponge. What I'm gonna to use today is one of the Avon Flat Foundation Brushes. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of that onto here. It is quite liquidy, so you don't need an awful lot. And I'm just gonna dab that, and I've already got a little bit of concealer on underneath. I do suffer from rosacea, so my skin is actually quite red. So um, I have had to put some, um, some concealer on first to help with that. Um, and I'm just gonna lightly put the foundation with the brush um, over my face. And then I'm gonna blend it using two things. I'm gonna show you how you can blend it with a, with a stippling brush and also blending it with a sort of more of a uh, beauty blender as as well which is really great and then obviously we can take it down a little bit into the nicker because you don't want that horrible line that you sometimes see people have if they haven't blended their foundation so you can put more on if you want i'm going to leave that flat for now and as i say there's two ways i'm going to do it i'm going to use a stippling brush first of all um, now this is quite a firm brush it feels a little bit prickly almost at the beginning when you first use it so I did find that oh when I first started using it but it really does soften up so definitely when you get one new do sort of soften it a little bit at first because you'll find that helps so all I'm going to do now is just lightly stipple that across the cheek area and it will mean that you don't end up with the streakiness that you can get when you just use maybe a flat foundation brush can find and it really helps you make sure you don't miss any areas because you can go it's sort of around the corners as well of your eyes and um, just simply stipple that all the way over and that will give you a really nice base on which to obviously maybe apply other makeup if you want so that's the stippling brush and I like that but as I say it, you do need to be I have to be quite careful with my skin it's not too rough with it um, because I do suffer from rosacea so I have to maybe be quite gentle. The other thing that is really soft though is to use a sort of more of a beauty blender sponge and with this you just simply lightly just really take and blending it, it in and you can use the pointy bit if you want and if you want to put a bit more on you can. You can put your makeup actually on with this. I'm just sort of really rolling it off. And again, that gives you that, that really nice finish so you haven't got the lines that maybe you sometimes could get um, as well. Okay, so that is two different types of ways in which to apply your foundation, but using the A New Liquid Foundation. And it really does have that luxurious feel. It's really creamy and really simple to apply. So, um, you know, do look at the reviews. I'd love to know what you think. It comes in a few colours as well. And there are lots of other products that complement this range, right um, down to lipstick, but as well as sort of brow fillers and different concealers as well. So the A new range of skincare is absolutely fantastic for makeup as well as facial creams. That's all for me. Bye. See you very soon. Bye-bye.